It's Bob and Tom Tonight, starring Chick McGee, Christy Lee, Josh Arnold, Ace Cosby, Pat Godwin, Willie Griswold, and Tom Griswold. And uh, once again, the cicada thing, it's a hoax, fake news. I ain't buying it. Ain't seen a cicada yet. No such thing. Tom? I have 10,000 10, in my yard. Fake, 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 fake. Oh, no kidding. Already, huh? Yeah, really? The, I am the epicenter <laughs> of a cicada life in this country. Okay. Good um, for you. I haven't seen a single one Me yet. neither. Really? Christy's, on, Christy's on board with me. Denier, hoax. I haven't seen hoax. it. Hoax. My, my neighborhood has them, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I think was the, Dean does, too. I was the officiant at a wedding um, about 30 <laughs> miles that way. Yep. That's an un unfortunate word. Officiant. Nice. It is an it is an unfortunate <laughs> word. Efficient. Yeah. It should be like celebrant. Yes, or something. yeah. Efficient yeah. yeah. sounds should like you yes. give them pointers in the honeymoon suite. <laughs> All right, let's get this done. You over there, Ob. Uh, you over there, let's make down. Let's wall sing. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Do you understand when I say spread them? Okay. Oh, no. God. <laughs> oh, well. no, I'm talking about the, talking about the dip. No. <laughs> sure. Yeah. You want to? Uh, so I, my yard is uh, my my two little girls, uh, my five year old and eight year old, wouldn't go to the swing set. Because of the cicadas, oh yeah, they leave those dead carcasses all over the place. Then, then the ones that are alive have the big bug eyes. And I haven't seen one yet. So let me finish. Okay. I took a rake, and just around the little swing set area, I could have filled a bucket. Wow, there were so many of them, and they're so creepy. But then I went thirty plus miles that way. On the in this place, right. had lots of nice sculpted lawns. It was an outdoor wedding venue. Not one. Yeah. Huh. Then I went to the playground. 20 miles that way, <laughs> zero. Some guys have all yeah. the luck. Good for you. I think it has to do with the types of trees you have. I live in a place with lots of big old trees, very old neighborhood. And yes, old right. trees, old money, yeah, old yeah. gates. Out of the old main line. Yes. <laughs> well, the tree's far yes. too young yes. and dark. To yes, be as, opposed, <laughs> as opposed to my, my three wooded acres, as opposed to your... Car park. Oh, <laughs> Lord, That's car not a park. Japanese maple, is it? <laughs> <laughs> not hey, I have one of those. Right. Sorry. Stupid world record. Stupid world record. This is the most important one we've had in ages. Pan Panic no, two. because it proves you right. Guinness World Record for the most positively, the best reviews on <laughs> Rotten Tomatoes. According to right? the, the uh, authority, the 2017 film overtakes... Toy Story 2, of course, another favorite of Tom's. Yes, it's uh, Garnering favorites. 245 positive reviews, surpassing Toy Story's 169 positive reviews. That doesn't seem like a lot. That doesn't yeah, seem I don't like know. a lot well, at all. I don't know what no. they're... Yeah, I, I've lost all respect for Rotten Tomatoes after they demoted <laughs> Citizen Kane because they found an old review. <laughs> yeah. It that, knocked... Uh, it scored up from 100% down to 90 But also, that review is suspect. Remember the... It had a, the guy was written under a pseudonym, and it might have been possibly from a paper. Uh, the Hearst, of, of the Hearst oh, Publishing. Sure. Might have been, but, um, hmm. been, my point has always been, you know, Paddington 2 is one of the, it, that's, it's an absolutely perfect movie. Okay. Everything movies can do, it does. I I, same with it. Toy Story 2. It's really good. I was somewhat great. put off by the preview, and one of the, uh, one of the uh, fulcrums of comedy during the movie is uh, someone puts a red sock in with yeah. the uh, prison wear and turns every, everybody's shirt pink. Something, something, I, something, I, I something that's happened to everyone, a relatable. I couldn't, uh, I couldn't. Shocking amount of nudity in Patty. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. However, uh, the guy from Downton Abbey's in it. And he, yes, he, he is. He yeah. can do no wrong. He's great. Okay. I, I, Beaumont, I, I, this puts a lot of pressure on Patty. <laughs> a, a lot of pressure on Paddington 3. <laughs> I mean, is there going to be one? Is Paddington 3 going to well, be the... What do you mean? Of course there's going to be a Paddington 3. Is it going to be the Empire Strikes Back? or wait, wait, Which was 3? The Return of the Jedi? Right. Yeah, yeah. Once I again, I have no doubt that there's a family of talking bears that live in England. There's no way they special effected this. This bear exists. Have you seen... Talk. Did you see Paddington 1? No, I haven't seen either of them yet. Yeah, chicks right. It looks like they've actually found a bear. <laughs> they, oh, yeah. They, forget about the CGI. They found sure. a talking bear. Effects are... Uh, remember that a scene? talking stuffed good these days? bear. <laughs> remember, that, remember that scene where he's blow-drying his fur? <laughs> it's just like, yeah, there's, oh, a, there's yeah, a bear they, blow. They animated each hair. It, yeah. is, the, <laughs> it is the most Incredible. well done. They really take their time with these movies nowadays. Yeah, yeah. They, if you want to feel good about life, as Tom would say, go watch Paddington. It's a, it, it, I will watch it. It's a great movie. And I, I, you I've know only seen this Now it's going to get a bear. I, I don't know whose reviews they're using, uh, but there's going to be a bad review from someone. 
Hmm. This will, there'll be some. Maybe there was a critic whose family was murdered by yes, bears. There'll be some <laughs> anti-bear social justice warrior. <laughs> bears, so evil. Bears. <laughs> I'm just saying. It's a great movie. Go, go see Pat. I don't think there's any doubt that it's the best talking animal movie, right? Come on, babe. Ah, uh, was a good oh, one. Oh, boy, no. Babe's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Babe is pretty good. Not, not Every even, time not I even think close. that'll and do, I, Pig, that'll do, I start crying. Oh, oh so sweet. I'm pretty sure Babe 2, uh, Pig in the City, is, is, is one of the... Uh, <laughs> is that a Bridget that, Jones? That, that, could, be, that the could be the funniest, <laughs> accidentally the funniest title well, that we've ever babe, had. Babe 2, uh, Pig in the City. Pig in the uh -huh. City, yeah. I'm pretty sure it is one of the highest reviewed movies on Rotten Tomatoes. I'm pretty sure the it top is. three is, is Paddington, Toy Story, and Babe 2. Too. Babe 2 was a huge critical success. Yeah, yeah. By the way, the the porno offshoot Pig in the City, you might want to not watch that. <laughs> I don't might be in there. You have to, you have you to, ever... you, you have to applaud Peter North for being able to function. <laughs> don't you think... <laughs> Did we need that? Wow. Don't you think <laughs> you should take a look at yourself when you, when you come up with something like that for Pig in the City? Don't you really think you look should Look at himself. Review? He's smiling. You're here. Still, we're talking about still... animated movies. Yes. And Babe, and you're talking about an, uh, probably... Uh, I'm, I'm getting the feeling an ugly whore. <laughs> Pig in the city. Oh, we have a quote from, uh, we have an audio from Pig in the city. Yeah. Oh. That'll do, bitch. <laughs> boy, boy. Reno, you recorded the new album last Tuesday. Tell me how it went. It was awesome, man. It was so much fun. Um, I got a, having that construction job, I got so much more material. You know what I mean? It's so weird, like, how much you get when you go get a real job. The material just flows. It was now, awesome. Did, um, I'm trying to remember. Did I forward you the uh, album title suggestion? I have. Which one? Um, do, you, do, you, do you have it, Josh? Yes, yeah, because it is a lot about construction and stuff. I thought you could call and and new jokes. You could call it labor and material. Oh, I love that. Isn't that good? Kind of a song. That's fantastic. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thank you. Wow. Labor and material. I, yeah. I got renovation a lot. Oh, yeah. Um, on Twitter, renovate. Um, yeah. Labor it was so material. much fun. Man. Labor and materials. Hilarious. It sounds like he's heard. having a baby to me. <laughs> not every title has to be yuck, yuck, funny. Well, that's one of them. That's, that's not. That's a comedy album. Why would it be? Please don't title my album. <laughs> the Importance of Carburetor Repair. <laughs> I believe. We know you <laughs> I so Reno, I Reno, said he loved Reno it. Uh, I liked uh, being kind. Uh, Reno four one one, I thought was quite humorous. Oh yeah, uh, these are all better. No, but I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. now, Reno, Reno, Labor this and material. This, uh, this is a reference <laughs> to me. This is a really good one. This is a reference to one of the most famous phrases in the history of rock and roll. Okay, all right. It would be Reno need no education. <laughs> No. <laughs> Reno, that would have been Reno good on the teaching no one. Education. Yeah, that would have been good on the teaching one. Yeah. 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 Oh. Huh. So you don't like it? Yeah, huh? it was fun. Oh, this guy's it was great. And then I went to Detroit and uh, had shows this weekend at Mark Ridley's Comedy Castle. And I, when I got into Michigan, I was driving. I was like, I know pot's legal here because there was a dude riding a motorcycle <laughs> down the highway with no helmet but a mask on. <laughs> <laughs> That'll protect you. I'm like, dude, what has happened uh, to your bikers, man? Like, that's oh, maybe his that? bandana slid down. Yeah, but nothing yeah, for that. that. Maybe his bandana. <laughs> I didn't get it. Oh, I get it. I get a lot of bikers wear bandanas. The bandana on his no, head. I, yeah. I, I stand Sorry, by yeah. that. Makes it maybe. tougher to smoke. <laughs> it makes it <laughs> Try again. <laughs> Wait a minute. Josh may throw the headphones hey, down. Hey, and we didn't say. We didn't say leave. We said try again. He may throw a zoom on. <laughs> you got one more shot. Uh, now, um, Reno, it, uh, I thought we'd maybe take this opportunity to review Today in History because Chick keeps complaining All right. so late in the show. Time now for Today in History because I've been complaining it's too late in the show. Here's Tom. <laughs> 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 help me, buddy. Help me. Uh, 1989, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade premiered. One of the finest, uh, most entertaining movies I've ever seen. Uh, well, I saw it at the drive-in. Is that when Sean Connery? Uh, listen to this. The okay. whole family, the honor family, gets yeah. into the minivan. We right. pop our own popcorn, of course. We yes. were mm -hmm. quite poor, and we would go to uh, the... Okay. And uh, it was Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade and The Naked Gun. Oh. And if you think 13-year-old nice oh. Josh Arnold oh. wasn't in hog heaven... <laughs>
<laughs> wow. That's that's cool. Uh, now, you want to get to, um, oh, this is really important. Happy birthday to... Uh, <laughs> oh, that's cool. Something went wrong there. I don't know what you oh, That's cool. Oh, I don't know what you were you were uh, laughing at as being poor. They popped oh their own popcorn. God. I don't, but I demand. I feel like yes, our listeners. I, I want to know. I need an honest answer. Here. Yeah, what happened? What if I had mean? not been here from let's say nine fifteen to now, would the show be much better? Would it have been? There? I get the impression. Yes, the answer is yes. It was a, a touching. I, it was a touching that's story. A, that's a nice memory. That an empty chair would have been better. It was, it was long, wasn't it? Josh, do you really think we talk like we just walk around? You got your chocolate, my peanut butter. Do you really <laughs> no, talk like no, that? No, of course not. I do. Of course. I'm a man of the people. I know you do, Jake. <laughs> Mom made man chicken man. bake. Happy birthday, Bob Dylan. Mr. Robert Zimmerman. Yeah. All right, Give Bob. him an award. He just You've went. outlived yeah. your usefulness. Step aside. Oh, oh, sings like a zip tie. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know what that means, and it's funny. <laughs> Man, that's descriptive. You are so right. Hi, I'm Bob Dylan. Zip time. Oh no, it was Bob. That'd be. Wouldn't that be a great commercial? Oh, that's so funny. How many zip ties does it take to tie down? Okay, I'm getting information that Samuel Morse was born April 27th. Why are we talking about that? Yeah. So why are we talking about it now? Just a filthy liar. Just make just stuff, up. stuff up. <laughs> you know, if you lie about one, we're not going to believe you. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. No, it wasn't his birthday. Oh, what was oh, it? He tapped out the first telegraph message <laughs> on this date in 1844. Uh, oh, so you're just too me. lazy to read another line down and just told us it, it was his birthday. So, what uh, would you a little uh, uh, preparation? Here's the headline. Samuel Morse taps out first telegraph message. Those dance lessons finally paid off. <laughs> Oh, wow. That's, That's so funny. Pretty good. Okay, pretty good. sorry. Let's get, get back to birthdays. Uh, happy birthday, Bob Dylan. Z ah, I mean, he zips. Oh, that's Zippin. so funny. He could be Robert Zipperman. Yes. <laughs> he could be. <laughs> lady, lady, lady. Okay, a happy birthday, Priscilla Presley. Oh, speaking of the naked gun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. She was, she was nice beaver. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I just had it stuffed. Um, they, happy yeah. birthday, Alfred Molina. Is he still with us? He sure is. And what a fun. Oh, he was yeah. just in Promising Young Woman. Yes, well, he's that's right. Oh, that he's the guy yeah. sobbing in his car. Oh, boy, he's great. Yeah. Um, happy birthday, the great Roseanne Cash. Oh, in front of the show, John C. Riley. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. He's in his 50s, 56, 58, uh, something. Born in 65. Wow. Will Sasso, who was terrific as Curly he in sure the was. Three Stooges movie. Yes. Yeah. Well worth, funny well guy, worth yeah. seeing. He is a funny guy. Okay. Um, so, Reno, I don't think we came to a conclusion. Did we? Oh. About what um, on the album. Labor, we got some time. Labor and Material. <laughs> Labor and Material is pretty good. I'll use it. I'll use it. Oh, no, is that something? Josh Arnold. Labor and Material. Do you Labor have the material. construction angle, though? Yeah, but you Not know. at all. Your, your album is already titled. <laughs> Such a good title. How about, uh, how about Out of Material? Uh, <laughs> again, I'm trying to and sell this thing. <laughs> I like I like talking to a bunch of hilljacks. No, no, you can't. No, you can't cannot do that, do that Tom. Mm -mm. You're insulting hilljacks and nail guns. You don't do that. <laughs> wait a minute. Hilljacks and wait. nail guns is amazing. Isn't oh. that a John Prine song? <laughs> <laughs> yes. And then, no, that's perfect. And then Reno, then have have you up against the wall, or you've been there's just you've been nail yes. gunned to the wall. Yes. Or a jackhammer. Yes. All your clothes, and you've been pounded onto the. Yes. Wall, yep. And then you've got one right in the middle of your forehead with a bl blood trickling. Yes, yes, indeed. You you have this thing about me being dead. Yeah, what does. did I do? No, you're not buddy. dead. You're just yeah, you're hurt. Just really, really I can, hurt. I can, I'll send lab. PJ. I can send PJ down to art direct this. Hill Jackson. We Hill. nail you to a wall. All right. Literally nail all your clothes around you. You could Photoshop it, okay? And then you're gonna yes. Photoshop it. Um, it's like me, real horns, real. real Reno, nails. you made a mistake here asking my dad for help. Around the studio, we call this complicating. Mm -hmm. It's when you ask for something to be simpler, and then he complicates it. We put yeah. Tom right in there. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> I still like Reno failure. Mm. No. No. I, I, no. It's fine. It's fine. God. Okay. Um, maybe do maybe we should go with your last name. Collier. 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 Call your mom. What's that? Call what's your a textbook, or... right? Collier's uh, illustrated yeah. version of your uh, prostate encyclopedia. Like oh, okay. Yep. Okay. Yep. okay. There was a magazine called Collier's, Collier's Paint Your Own Ass. That's right. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I don't know what you gave him <laughs> recently, but you keep giving him more of it. Good He's right. killing me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Call yours, mine's busy. Uh, <laughs> okay, Reno the Collier. The Hill Jack's alive with the sound of nail guns. Yes, <laughs> oh, yes, I love it, Pat. yes, yes. Reno, Reno, any, any, any live dates coming up, sir? No, I'm taking uh, June off to take my kid uh, whitewater rafting and go visit my mom. And Couldn't get um, booked, huh? <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with you today? It's unbelievable, Reno. I wouldn't. Uh, I don't know. Uh, where are you going whitewater rafting? On the Ocoee River. My kid just graduated from high school. and uh, That'll be cool. He's going to college, so family. we're going to take a trip. <laughs> That'll be great. Um, so, yeah, uh, it'll be fun. We, 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 are we going to hear from you next week, or are you going to be doing the old... Yeah, time? man. Now, 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 now. <laughs> it's still me. Oh, boy. This is just something else. <laughs> I'd love to go rafting with you, man. We'll have to make that happen. Dude, I love it. It's so much fun. <laughs> I'm not even looking at Tom. No. <laughs> Do you have enough labor materials? Did you know what he's going to say. <laughs> I'll well, sit in the center. Uh, this of is room. interesting. This is the first time we've had the raft run aground. <laughs> you are a mean man. Okay, it's kind of Have rough. fun. We talked him down in the green room. Dirty. No, everything's it's gonna be okay. fine. Nice. Nobody heard him say, well, "His bandana slid down." And very, that was very funny. That was very upset about Josh. It. Josh, okay. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> Kind of got married to the notion that Reno should title his album. What was it again? Labor and Material. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> I think Reno liked it. Mm hmm. No, he was just being nice. Was he? Yeah. Well, he's a very nice man. Yeah, he's a nice guy. But that's not going to sell any records. Not that it's a record. I'm saying. No, you don't think it's in, in concert. Reno in concert. <laughs> no one likes Reno failure. I thought that was a nice submission. Thank you. Very much. Uh, now, um, we'll get back to the action. I um, wanted to remind you that we have uh, I th uh, something coming up. I think we're going to talk with uh, Jess Hooker about uh, there's a, a movement afoot to um, do a... Don't uh, use the word movement. Uh, well, that's what it is. <laughs> it's literally. I, I used it quite literally there. <laughs> I know. Yes. Uh, there's a thing out there called the uh, Blue Poop uh, Challenge. You know, challenge. And um, I'll explain it in a minute. But uh, I can explain it right now. Go ahead. Uh, it brings awareness to gut health. You eat blue muffins and see how long it takes for your poop to turn blue. Participants can either bake their own muffins with blue dye or purchase ready-made muffins. You track the time it takes until blue-green poop appears in your toilet. You share all this information onto the bluepoopchallenge.com website. Along with pictures. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah. And you get to learn more about your microbiome. It's kind of cool. So we're gonna have um, Jess make some of these of these blue muffins, and then we'll uh, we'll all eat them and report back. Okay, it's kind of like it's sort of like a race. Remember yeah. that Burger King burger <laughs> that turned your? It was like yes. a black it, bun, but right. it turned your poop yeah. like a blue green color. For Halloween, right? Yeah. The yeah Halloween and, and, it, and they had to make a big announcement because people right. they, they might be ill. Yeah, they thought they were sick. And if you, and I, the first time I put uh, ground up beets or whatever they were in my carrot juice, I thought I was hemorrhaging. <laughs> so these things, these things, uh, these things do happen. Oh, do we have time for the ice story? Uh, Probably not, huh? Let's save ice, it for tomorrow. Ice story. Yeah. Time now for <laughs> things we learned on the Bob and, and Tom uh, show. Here's Tom. Thank you very much. I, we learned a lot today. And wait a minute, the music's not done. We learned that. Uh, <laughs> Just take a moment. We learned that uh, Chick is a cicada denier. That's right. Yes. It's a hoax. Fake news. Um, I have um, a <laughs> Don't several, see several thousand of them in my yard if you'd like to come see them. Whatever. Whatever. Gross exaggeration. <laughs> I don't believe you. <laughs> I'll bring, should I bring you a bucket of them? To, I'll send you some pictures. <sighs> my uh, photo shot. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, we were talking about a tattoo removal has become a huge business. Um, and uh, we, what did we say? Uh, the I guess the most commonly removed tattoo is the is wedding the ring. Wedding ring tattoo. Mm -hmm. um, if you know a lot about that, uh, send us an email, Bob and Tom at Bob and Tom .com. I'd like to know more. Couldn't you just reuse it and just redesign it or something? <laughs> um, and then Josh agreed to get a, uh, a Tweety Bird um, a tattoo on his, was it left breast? That's and then, right. And then underneath it, we're going to put uh, I. Taught, I taught, a titty tat. <laughs> Come That's on. Right. You know, seriously. I'm a human oh. prop. 
<laughs> you can't do that joke for three reasons. Uh, there's oh. many reasons. You it's spelled T-I-D-D-Y. Okay. 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 Ted D. See, now you got the... Uh, yes, yes. Say it slower and louder. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it needed. More clear. Yeah. Yeah. One of us, we'd be in trouble. Willie right has a moisturizing cream for under his eyes every morning, which that's like, God, I guess some of that. Some of that. Is there, is that. Does it give you like a little pickup? Like a little... Yeah, I think it does. <laughs> oh, that's what that's for? Yeah. I've been using that on my anus. <laughs> to pucker it up? <laughs> Your anus is up all night. Are you whitening it up, are you? Are we taking some more? Uh, uh, speaking of things that are white, uh, Josh had an interesting remark. I was saying congratulations to the old dudes, um, the great uh, Scott Dixon on the poll for the 105th running of the Indy 500, and Phil Mickelson lefty winning the PGA, and you said... Uh, Finally, an old white man winning at golf. <laughs> Time. I, I was trying to be nice. <laughs> we'll tell you more about the blue poop challenge coming up. Uh, let's see now. Uh, Chick wants us all to get a tattoo together because your tattoo guy's back in town. Donnie. Donnie oh, Kizzy, okay. baby. Oh, Donnie yeah. Kizzy. He's my man. And uh, Pat wants his removed. Go on, please. There is something <laughs> called tree farts. Yeah. And it was in about that. Smithsonian Magazine. I had no, mm -hmm. I had no idea. Uh, and we learned that uh, maple syrup tree sharts. <laughs> uh, we learned a lot. Chick contends UFOs are real, cicadas are fake. Thank you. This That's is the right. Bob and Tom Show. Watch the entire show live or on demand at bobandtom.com or listen live with the Bob and Tom app. And be sure to tune in next time for more Bob and Tom Tonight.